as this offense gets set to take over. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be now you take on the identity. You now lead the team, and everything runs through you in terms of offense. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the foot. Another run with Sanders. And he'll be pretty well hungry. Charles, they were losers last time. Uh, what do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but... The attitude has to be this is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And now it's throwing it. Again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. They go back to the ground with Sanders. He'll get about on third down. Now back to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. Cheer for good yardage. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's going to be nice. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete, it's Sanders. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made it. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Panthers! Adam Thielen, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Panthers are an extra point away from drawing level. A nice connection there, finding his target Asia. zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's get credit. They need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Come on, and a first and ten. Looking to throw. get there the Falcons get the sack well, you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there nowhere to go outside he had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up eventually dropped for a huge yes, on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down they'll look to throw looking for Thielen but it's intercepted picked up by Casey Hayward and the Falcons are going to take to see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position Charles after throwing their first interception of the ball game that goal's not changing a bit they want another pick you're exactly right about that in fact you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage they may cut down their gaps a little bit maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it. Up the middle they go with Sanders. He'll take this. Here's second and eight. Now they go screen. It's complete. They get oh, those. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Now they a pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he is going to have. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the stand. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. This is a second and four. Ball at the nine. They'll set up a throw. And once again, this is Sanders. Touchdown! Miles Sanders. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive in Quickly fading here in the second quarter. Not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this now, situation. If they hurry, we'll see. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Being chased out left. 
and he wisely will throw that one away. Alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Fielded right around the eight. Now a hit and a loose football. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Back to throw now on first down. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. They'll give him four yards. Shallower than normal as he works straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Did you know something? A lot of has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Yeah. And just mugged him down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here's a throw to his right. Number running. seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And a very determined run there. Is there a four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a good point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. The third quarter, just a three-point game. Second and ten. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And pretty good running. An extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll drop the throw. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down and cut to third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football. Detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They're going to look to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Panthers have... And that last touchdown drive, they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge, because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the time... Front just... And in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Second down, back to Sanders. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and six. Over the middle, hauled in by Shark. And this won't do it. He needed it. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the wall. He gets the football starting this drive first and ten. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. A worse second and six. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's across the two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll look to throw here. Open man is stealing his complaint. And he is going to have the interceptions last week. He looked a little uncomfortable. He looks much more comfortable today. Yeah, just one pick so far in his team lead. So now they can play complimentary football, meaning if he takes care of the ball and his offense well, you know, they're humming along. Quarter advantage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the deep. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36. You've got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you just see it as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. This gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. Down to about the 37. And a big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. With one second to go, this just sent us to overtime. And no, wow.
side left. It's no good. And a tough finish to this one. So three points, the deciding margin. And the kick no good at the end that could have sent us to overtime. And while it was a decently long kick, you know, we've almost gotten to the point with these kickers these days. Anything inside 60, we just expect them to make it. But that was a tough pressure kick. I, I love how you brought that up, though. That is so true because the kickers have almost done themselves a disservice by being so good. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. And when they do miss it, I'm not sure we give enough gravity.